Oh, you get right on my wick, you do. But something for the weekend, sir. I'd sit down and grab a vape because this ain't going to be short. But it is going to be worthwhile. Let's have a look at some wicking material. Oh, the excitement. Now, it's actually reasonably interesting. Carry on. Hello YouTube, this is Dean the Vaping Biker and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, this is heavily inspired by Mr. Basado that did a uh, wicking test quite some time ago and um, I thought it was time to do another one so I have actually checked with him to make sure he doesn't mind me ruthlessly ripping off the way he does things but um, um, he's okay with it so that's cool. Um, now, one of the challenges that I think um, we face, or a, a lot of people are facing at the moment, is they're all excited about getting the next new tank, you know, whether it's the Rage, whether it's the, the, the Cloud Chaser, or, you know, whatever else. And for some reason, everybody wants to be vaping at a gazillion watts and, and, uh, and have the lowest um, coil in the world and all this sort of stuff. Now, there's all manner of challenges with that. Why do you need a low ohm coil on a regulated device? Blah, 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 blah. But um, if we put that to one side a minute, once you get your coil that's going to do what it what it needs to do, whether it's on a regulated device or whether it's on a mechanical device, um, what needs to happen then is obviously it's going to get the the, the coils there, the, the wicks all round it, and that has to absorb the juice so it goes in which is why we know that some tanks have a pain in it like the older school ones with the uh, with the tighter airflow and and the smaller coils and stuff will have more of a pain in the ass wicking high vg uh something like your, your old school k funds or something like that you know you put max vg stuff in there and they could have a bit of a pain in the hoop if you do anything over 20 watts um but at the same time you know you go for a sub tank for instance and then put 50 50 juice in it there's quite a chance that it's going to leak um so there's a lot of whole different things to get involved when it comes to the wicking but and this works the same with RDAs as well. If you've got something that is two, three, four mil in diameter, the inner diameter of it is that. You've got the wick going through it, and then it, it uh, you're putting a lot of heat in that direction. Just in that tiny little space, you're putting a lot of heat in there. Now, by doing that, obviously that's causing the vapor. That's all gonna that's all gonna go wonderfully, and big clouds. Woo! Happy days. But that wick then has to be able to suck more juice in that coil. It's just got to absorb the juice, whether it's in a tank, it's going to be from the outside, um, or the base, or something like that. And on an RDA, you know, a gazillion ways of, uh, of wicking things. So you are at the mercy quite a lot to the, the type of wick that you use. Um, now, that being said, there's a lot of different wicking materials on the on the market at the moment. There is a hell of a lot. And so what do you use? What do you use? Well, this is a test to give an idea of initial absorbency. Okay, so how well does it absorb and essentially wick the material vertically? Wick the material, wick the uh, juice vertically. So what I've got, and there are, by the way, a whole bunch of other things. Obviously, I'm not introducing heat to it. I'm not introducing sort of the suction aspect. It's it's going to be different from tank to tank. It's going to be different to how dense you do things. All manner of things. But, you know, I'm a little fat bloke with a beard in a little room. So, you know, hashtag because science only goes so far <laughs> haven't got a lab haven't got a lab so this is the 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 one of the best styles of tests that i've seen just to give oh excuse me just to give you a brief idea about how it's going to work or how well things are going to wick to some degree yes there are challenges with it yes it's not perfect but it gives an idea and i wanted to do it because like i say there's a lot of uh there's a lot of wick out there now so what what do you go for so this is for, for my kind of awareness, and so I thought I may as well catch it on camera for you guys. So what am I going to wick? What am I going to use today? It's very exciting. I'm going to use Muji. Um, that is a bag of that stuff that I've had for the best part of a year, I think. That's going spectacularly well. Um, now, 
I'm going to have a look at uh, how much space I've got. I have thought about doing an entirely separate Muji thing, um, purely because you've got your regular one with the two flat pieces on the side. You've got them with the, with the flat pieces taken off. You've got with one side taken off. You've got the Scottish roll technique. You've got all manner of different things. Now, so, I mean, if there's, if there's kind of like, what is there, the regular one, the side's taken off, and the Scottish roll, there's three there. Um, I'll see if I've got space in my kind of, testing area which i'll show you it's awfully technical um I'll, yeah so you, i'll show if i can fit it in i will if not we'll have to follow up with that at another time so um what have i got so i've got the muji i've also got the cotton bacon 2.0 so we'll give that some some beans i've been buying all this stuff by the way there's only one here that was given to me for for, for for free i believe um what have we got we've got some vapors choice oh no that was a freebie i think at um vapor expo or fest or somewhere so we've got some of that uh, that is not one of the more popular ones so once again if i've got to lose one then it'll be that one i'm sorry to say uh shake and vape that tends to be quite uh, quite the thing. I've not even broken the seal on that bag yet. See what it's like. I've got some Chados, um, which is, uh, I, I know uh, some people get awfully excited about. I've got a couple of tester packs of Fiber Freaks, and I've got some Kendo um, Vape Cotton. This, is, this was sent to me free for review. Um, I've got two of these, and I've been using one of them. Now, I need to find out if this is more of a rayon kind of material and i'm trying to find this out it kind of feels what i imagine i never used rail um but it kind of feels what what i imagine that to be like but one thing it does do a jolly good job which is why i want to really include it in this because it has an initial problem wicking when you put when you put this in your coils your, your juice kind of sits on top um and then it'll sit there for a while and go no fuck you i'm not going anywhere fuck you um but then after a while it goes Wah! and gone and then it wicks like a bastard and there's no nasty taste or anything like that so that's why i'm including that one in here i was going to do because it was sent for review i did think about doing a sort of a separate thing or more of a mention in a vlog but that's going to be included with these guys so muji cotton bacon shake and vape chados fiber freaks and possibly vapor's choice and all that good shit now what i'm going to do is i've got a, uh, a dish I've got blotting paper and what I did yesterday and I thought this was something that kind of interested me um, is I did a little tester Ta -da! Um, to see how these would wick. Now I did a 2.5 and a 3 mil hole uh, just thinking you know is one going to be is the 3 mil going to bring up more? Apparently clever people say no and those clever people would be absolutely right because they appeared to sort of distribute the same amount of fluid um, But it made it made that it made that paper go over so cool. Look at that look Ooh. Um, Yeah, but you can see kind of at the bottom there that the three mil is just Way chunkier it's absorbed more um, and it worked really quickly and that is just some food dye in some pure VG So uh, yeah, it's um, I'm quite impressed and that was just with Muji. So um, I was quite impressed But what I'm going to do is I am going to get this shit together um, I am going to uh, Hopefully I've got an old mobile phone that I can turn the sort of auto darkening business off and then I can have a have a uh, um uh, what's it called? Stopwatch timer. One of them running next to the uh, the dish with the with the stuff in it. Um, so if I do have to fast forward, you can sort of stop at any time and see that I'm not fiddling with things or anything like that. Um, because I want this to be as transparent as possible for the both of us, to be honest with you. Because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing, and you know, there's no point in making this a longer video than needs be. And I've already been talking for nearly nine minutes. So, right, I am going to go away and get my shit together and get this all organised and try and get a camera positioned so it can it's reasonably focused on it, um, as well as um, you can see what's going on. It might be a bit of a floater. What should I do, camera and camera? Should I record on my phone? <gasps> can I get technical? Ah, we'll see. Anyway. Come back uh, with me in a minute and we'll see what we can achieve. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm quite excited about this. Science, baby! Yeah! <laughs> see ya!
All right then, ladies and gentlemen. So here we are, just trying to get in a focus for you right there to give you an idea. This is going to have to get changed in a second. But you'll see that there is no way I'm going to focus it because I'm wearing stupid gloves. There we go. That's as close as it's going to get. So we've got... Um, we've got the number one through to ten. Number nine's missed out because I actually had one hole more than I thought I needed. So you'll see underneath I've got an old phone with a stopwatch going on. And what we'll do is let's go down to here. Now, at this point, you will see that we've got um, everything marked off. Um, everything with its own number to correlate to the top. What I've tried to do is make sure that we have the same depth of wick poking through the bottom there um, and to the best of my ability I've done two and a half mil holes and I have tried to have the same sort of density um, amongst all of the wicks I know some of them look a little bit different on the top that one looks particularly anemic um, what was that one that's the VCC stuff um, it's you know I have done my level best to be able to kind of equalize that out but what I did find out last night was that two mil hole, two and a half mil, three mil hole, whatever else, it makes no difference whatsoever. So obviously the tightness, I've tried to put each one in so it's kind of a snug fit, you know? So I've kind of, I haven't had to really yank it through, but it's it's had a, a, a certain amount of resistance because obviously I didn't want to make the holes any bigger either. So what we're gonna use, I'll just pop that upside down for a second. Um, what we're gonna use is, let's magnify all sorts of stuff some vampire vape vg which is the uh some big old stuff i've got going on there so let's pour a bunch of that in if i can get into it just giving this a bit of a shake up to make sure there's nothing that uh is going to upset things look at all that waste of vg look at that but it does look like the galaxy so that's exciting with all the air bubbles right so there's that Uno VGE on it. That's away. What I'm now going to use as well is just some uh, some food colouring, professional lighting. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. Not really so much of a cook. I'm wearing gloves just because you can guarantee I'll get this all over me and it'd be an absolute pain in the ass. Right, this does take a fair bit of uh, of mixing up, but it does get there eventually. So yeah, I mean, I've tried to make sure that I've got the uh, the um, the same going on, sort of all over the uh, with all the wicks. So the same depth, the same everything else, as much as I possibly can do. And you know what? It it's not the easiest, but uh, but it was worth a damn good go. So um, I am trying to uh, be as fair to that as I possibly can be. Um, I know that some of you, especially the, the, the people out there that possibly have way more understanding of this than I do, will say that, you know, there's way better ways of doing these things. And there quite possibly is. But this is the only way that I'm aware of. And uh, so that, that's why it's getting done in this in this kind of way. All right, we're starting to uh, we're starting to get there now. Didn't think it was going to be a cookery show, did you? Hey, hey. All right, so I've used the red because on the green blotting paper, it will just kind of, it will pop a little bit more, you know? So I wanted it to uh, be really obvious. And last night's test with the uh, with the stuff that I used last night worked really, really well. So um, I'm hoping that this is going to have the same thing. Because it's a light green blotting paper as well, it is going to mean that... Um, as soon as it gets wet, it's going to get darker anyway. The uh, the red is just for dram extra dramatic effect because it looks like blood. Right. I think that is as good as we're going to get. We are mixed up uh, like a, a bad boy. Right. Good. Clean that up. Now, when I've also uh, put these wicks together, I have tried to not get my hand. I've had my hands totally clean. Um, I didn't wear gloves when I put the wicks in um, because just because of the feel. I didn't want to get any kind of talc on them or anything like that from the gloves. Not saying that they will be, but they're not. 
they're not expensive latex gloves so you know it was it was what it was so um you know i've done it in the cleanest way possible so i can try not to get any extra uh, extra sort of grease or anything like that on things so right here we go there's all of the uh, the wicks once again there's all the numbers that correlate to what we've got up here once again da -da -da, da -da -da. sorry about the mess everywhere i've had to put paper up because i'm shy of it all right so we'll pop that in on the top of there and that'll all start sinking in. Now, if I raise this camera up, we should be able to see, oops, those wicks are all in that juice. Right, so we're on, let's get that started. So now we have the waiting game of seeing how long it's gonna to take to uh, to get things to show i mean i was quite surprised last night with the with the speed of it um but you know who knows who knows what we're going to do so what i'm going to do is i am going to just keep that camera running and then i'm going to hopefully be able to speed through it later down the line i might have to just touch the screen because every now and again because i believe after 10 minutes it's going to cut off and i couldn't stop that and a stopwatch isn't one of those things that uh, that I have kicking around. But uh, but yeah, so I'm going to shut up. I'm going to fast forward until uh, until something happens, or the bit that you see. I'll be sitting here looking at Facebook. Thank you very much. Okay, so from an interesting point of view now we are this started around the sort of five minute mark but I wanted to uh, to just make sure you can see that around the base up here we're really getting um, a, a certain amount of, of fluid coming through and that's on the regular Muji that's with the sides on and everything else this one here number two which is a Muji with outsides um, that also is starting to show a certain amount of, uh, of fluid around it We've got uh, number four here, which is the Chados Cotton, which is starting to uh, show a certain level of wicking. And we've also got number eight here, which is actually the VCC stuff, which is um, starting to wick upwards quite quickly. Um, there is a very small hint on the cotton bacon over here. And number 10, which is the Scottish Roll, is actually performing less well to the regular Muji and the uh, and the Muji without skins. So that's an interesting oversight so far, or oversight, that's an interesting kind of thing so far, at least it is for me. Um, the top performers currently seem to be the regular normal skinned Muji and the VCC stuff. Keep watching.
All right then, so we can see that we're 20 minutes in here. Um, not much has changed really. What we've got is we've still got the Muji, the uh, the Shadows and the VCC stuff performing really well. Uh, it is going really well. As I say, I'm just going to lump these two in together now because they're, they're doing pretty much the same thing. The uh, the Muji, just as is, and the Muji without skins doesn't really seem to be making a great deal of difference either way. The uh, the roll here, I mean, it was puffed out a little more. If you've watched the video, you know that you've got to try and stuff in as much as you can. Um, but at the same time, I was trying to keep it in line with everything else as well. Um, it doesn't really seem to be performing any differently to regular Muji at all. So, you know, what well, what well, don't know what that's all about at all. But there you go. So, yeah, Muji, Shadows, Kendo. No, not Kendo. Number eight, uh, VCC, which is surprising. It is surprising for me. Uh, so there we go. We'll let it go for a little bit longer. See that we are now around the 25 minute mark um interestingly there there still continues to be a certain level of wicking going on it's still sort of the rings are ever so slightly still expanding um what's happened here though number eight which is the the vcc stuff interestingly seems to have wicked sort of through the length of it um a lot quicker than all of the others i'm having a sort of a, a look at kind of desk level if you like to see if i can see um, any of the others that have done a similar sort of thing and I will move the camera once this this test is is done but uh, but no I mean here you can see that we're getting red coming through the very top and there's a very definite pink tinge to the uh, to the whole top piece of cotton there which I think is quite interesting um, it shows that sort of once it got going it really kind of it really is sucking up there pretty damn well. Um, we've still got this kind of pretty large vein coming up here and that is starting to, to sort of trickle up the side, which I'm not sure you can see on camera on the Muji. Um, the, what is, it, what is it, the Shadows, which has been performing well, is kind of, it's, it's only slightly above the, uh, the, uh, the, the blotting paper by all accounts. The, uh, the, the other Muji is uh, pretty much the same. Well, sorry, the other Muji is pretty much the same as the first Muji. Um, number seven, the Fiber Freaks, that's pretty much the same. That's sitting at the bottom there. But uh, but yeah, I mean, currently we're looking at number eight, which is the VCC stuff for actually really kind of, you know, bringing it bringing it through and uh, and sucking it up to the top, which I think is pretty, pretty interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this running for 35 minutes in total. Once that hits 35 minutes, I'm going to leave the clock running, uh, but I'm going to turn the camera off and then I'm going to film again after one hour. So we can see if there's any any difference going on there for another uh, another 25 minutes. The reason I'm doing that is because I just want to uh, make sure that I still have some memory left in my camera, in my uh, on my computer. But um, and it'll take like a year to edit. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to turn it off. I will keep this going. I'll keep touching the screen every 10 minutes to make sure it doesn't go dead. Uh, but you're going to have to trust me on that one, I'm afraid. But I think what we've seen so far is that Muji by itself seems to, bear in mind the, the cost of it, is pretty damn impressive. Um, and following up with that, things like the uh, the Shadow and the, and the surprisingly, the VCC stuff, uh, I think is uh, is pretty pretty interesting thus far. So okay, once this hits 35 minutes, we'll have a little chat again, and then uh, the camera goes off for a bit. Alrighty.
So here we are again then with the uh, coming up to the 35 minute mark. Just give that a little shuffle so it doesn't go off anywhere. Now what we've got is pretty much the same kind of um, response that we've had before that we've had thus far. The Muji's are still going really well. The uh, the Scottish roll business is starting to come into its own a little bit now with a sort of a larger footprint ever so slightly. The um, the VCC stuff is do, still doing really well and that line up top there is getting bigger. What I'm going to do is let's take you for a little journey with the camera. And we'll see if we can, uh, if I can give you a close up on these things, so you can see what's happening. Um, all right, so make sure we can get in a focus. There, bounce, isn't it? So, with the Muji, we can see that we're coming up, up top there, and that's, uh, you know, that's working out pretty well. Uh, the Muji without skins, we can see that it's kind of, it doesn't really appear to be. It's coming up there a little. But it doesn't really appear to be doing any better than the uh, the regular old stuff. Number three, which is the Kendo Vape Cotton. Uh, once again, something that I've been very impressed with recently. However, doing fuck all in this test. Number four, uh, the Chados Cotton. That's still that's still kind of just been a, a reasonable uh, performer. It was nice and quick up front, and it's not really kind of achieved anything outstanding from there. So number five, the shake and vape. Um, you know, it's performing adequately. It's doing, it's doing its job. It's not really kind of moving up in the world. There's nothing exciting going on there. Uh, it's not, uh, it's not going in my uh, my vape cotton top five. I don't think, or top three at least. Uh, what we've got then, number six, the cotton bacon V2. We can see that that is coming up in the world a little bit. There we go. I feel like I'm, I should be doing a like a horse race or something. Ladies and gentlemen, number six coming through at the back there. Um, yeah, so we're getting a little bit coming through there, but it's not really, you know, it's not, ooh, look at the prettiness or anything like that. That's not really achieving a great deal. Number seven, which is the Fiber Freaks Cellulose. Now that once again is uh, is showing through a little bit at the bottom there. Uh, not a massive footprint going on there at all. But, you know, it's not performing any worse or any better than the cotton bacon or indeed the shake and vape. Number eight, though, look at this bad boy, the VCC. The, uh, I think this is Vapor's Choice, is it? Um... This really is doing a spectacular job. It's pulling it through. It really is. The whole thing is is pretty much pink now. It has a big old tinge of pink going on, which, you know, I mean, that's that's pretty damn good. Um, so, yeah, that's going on there. And then the, uh, the, the Scottish roll, you might be able to see there's a bit of a twist in there where I've done the rolly business. You know, nothing overly special there. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the... Uh, that is kind of where we're at at the 38 minute mark, which I think you can agree that some have performed better than others in this uh, in this instance. Um, number eight seems to be kind of taken out out in front there with the VCC stuff. The uh, the Muji I think has performed very well uh, considering, um, and uh, yeah, all these other posh ones are they really that good a wick? Well. Who knows? So what I'm going to do now is let's try and put the camera back where it was a minute ago. Whoop. Look at that look. And we're pretty much in focus as well, aren't we? Let's have a little fuck about and just see if we can get any better. Oh, uh, it's got that depth thing now. Oh, my word. Right. So there we go. We're going to leave it there. I'm going to give this a little touch when it hits 40, um, just so that gives me another 10 minutes from there on. But uh, but yeah, I'm going to stop the camera at this, that moment in time, and then we'll go back when it hits an hour, maybe an hour 15. Uh, we'll give it a nice, nice batch of time to see if it does anything. So uh, yeah, the time now is, well, you can see on the, uh, you can see on the clock here. No, can you not? Let's have a little look. If I move that just to one side there. Da -da -da, just like that so we can see it's 1628 so 428 currently uh what i'll do is i will come back at um about five around about five past five or 505 there about um give it a, a nice big whack of time i think no fuck it that's half an hour it's over half an hour isn't it twat <laughs> we'll give it five five o'clock half an hour right here we go then see you in a bit 
Alrighty then, so as you can see by the clock here of 16.58, so two minutes to five, um, we've been going for an hour and ten now, so it's uh, it's had plenty of time to see if anything's going to have any drastic changes. Now I'm going to leave this stuff overnight, but uh, just to see how it goes up on top of the wick, and I'll probably follow up with that at a later date. But uh, for the time being, uh, not really much has changed at all, you know? I mean, we can see that... The, um, the VCC stuff has done really, really well. It has That one has been the big surprise for me. It really has. Um, the Muji itself, just Muji Cotton is doing a spectacular job still. Um, we're starting to see if I move the camera and do my little flyover again. Da, 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 moving the tripod. Okay, let's have a little go at getting up close and personal with these fuckers once again. So we've got with... Uh, that first Muji there, we're looking, you know, it's it's still coming up the sides there, it's still poking through. Nothing on the top and not, not a great deal on the other side. It's coming up, but it's not doing anything drastic. Very similar to, on the uh, the side that's got or the, the Muji without the uh, without the side pieces on them, if you like. But uh, but nothing uh, nothing drastic. Still nothing on the uh, the um, the Kendo Vape Cotton, which is a, a big surprise for me. Um, four, number four is the shadows. It's done well, but you know, it's, it's starting to come up the sides there. Um, but it's, you know, it's not doing anything spectacular, but it's, it's just doing, it's doing a reasonable job. The, uh, the shake and vape whilst it did well at the start, um, we've not got any kind of further upwards wicking, if you like. Um, number six, which is the cotton bacon. We're starting to see that come through a little bit now, but nothing nothing uh, mind-blowing uh, nothing going on there uh, number seven we've got the fiber freaks the cellulose stuff that is you know it's it's performed performed adequately but it's uh, um, you know not doing a great deal we can see how that VCC stuff is working that is that is as I say quite the surprise for me quite the surprise indeed and then we've got the uh, the roll which you know is not really doing anything overly exciting at all um, and there's certainly no evidence of it kind of poking through the top there it's just coming up the side a wee hint so there we go that is the uh, that is the the impressions that I've got thus far from uh, from doing things I think what we're going to do now is probably take I'm going to just put a few of the, a little bit of this video together and we're going to take a few of them and um, wang in RDAs and see how they vape see if we've got any residual taste and we'll be using the same juice for all of them so right I'll see you again shortly Ethical. right then ladies and gentlemen so that was the um, up close now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in sections as well um, I have put um, some of the VCC stuff the Vapor's Choice Cotton, because the way that's performed on there, I have put this first in a wick. Now, this coil is something that I have used already, so I've got rid of any kind of unpleasant taste that, that could have been there. Um, that is a uh, some nickel wire from, no, some NI-80 from Kidney Puncher, um, 24 gauge, and I've done a bunch of wraps, can't remember what that comes out to. That is 0.37. Um, so what we've got going on there is a point. I thought it was lower than that. Anyway, point three seven. Um, I have. You can see I've not uh, done anything funky with it thus far. I have some Lushington, which those of you that have watched me for a fair while know that I use Lushington wherever I can for the uh, for the tasting, purely because I'm very confident I know about the taste of the, the, the of the stuff. So, uh, and I like it a lot and it makes me happy. So I'm just going to uh, pop the edges of this cotton down. Now, before I get into vaping it, while it's, uh, while it's wicking some, uh, some drips in it, I will tell you a little bit more about it. And I must admit, this is a cotton that up until today, this is my first time vaping this. Um, I had, I just had no kind of inclination to use. I think I got this uh, Vapor's Choice cotton free at Vape Fest way back earlier in the, in the year, and just never got round to using it. It was never, it was never, uh, you know, one of those high points on my uh, on my list of things to do. So uh, yeah, so it just never happened. Right, here we go. Let's get some uh, 
good old Lushington on there. Really cake that on there. I'm using the velocity purely because um, what I'm doing is rather than, I'm not going to try and be somebody that is poking through on a, uh, a marquee or a very taste flavor or taste orientated um, um, RDA. Um, because you know me, if you've watched my videos, that's not the way I vape. So why should I, why would I try and be something that I'm not? Um, because there's a bunch of you out there that still vape, oh shit, I'm spilling that everywhere, that vape the same as I do, that like uh, a little bit of cloudage and, you know, want something that wicks well. So the Velocity for me has a good mix of flavour and, um, and clouds. So we're going to give that a damn good thrashing. Well, I'm just going to leave that for a minute. You, can you see? Can you can't you can't see? That's 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 not in focus for a start. But trust me, they're uh, they're getting fully saturated, and I'll, I'm going to keep uh, keep doing a little bit on here as well. Now, in between the changes of cotton, what I'm going to do is I will um, dry burn it, get it all out, clean it all up, clean the inside of the top cap, which is something that I've done on this one as well, um, just to make sure there's no residual going around. Now then, moving on to this VCC stuff. Um, it was it's a funny stuff to work with now if I pull some of it out here you can see it comes in kind of it's like a it's like a strand and it's a very kind of tight woven strand as well um, I wonder if I can get some more kind of visual let me have a little look and see if I can get that up close on there will that, will that focus will it will it will it will it kind of well you kind of get in the vibe it looks like hair it looks like you're about to vape a horse's tail. Um, and it's just, it's very strong. You know, does that, I can pull that, and unless I pull it sort of pretty hard, um, it doesn't really do anything. So, you know, it does, whoop, uh, my eyes aren't as blue today. Yeah, it's it's a it's a strange one to work with because it doesn't really have the compression of uh, of some of the other cottons that uh, that we use, and so when you're putting it in, you kind of it doesn't really when you're kind of twisting it and what have you, it doesn't really get that much that much smaller if you like, but um, but yeah, I mean it's in, it's doing well now. Then this this is a Supima S U P I M A cotton, um, and I've had a little look on there now. Um, according to Supima Supima dot com, it's a premium cotton cotton. Um, that's not grown in a whole bunch of places in the world. Um, it's a high-end cotton. Now, um, I know that on some of the websites, and I think possibly on the Vapor's Choice website, it does say that um, it's only grown in America, which is is not the case. It is uh, it is grown in other places as well, although not so much. Um, just having a quick look. I saw it like a minute ago. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where is it gone? Anyway, it's it's a longer strand um, and finer, so it's 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 finer than your your normal kind of cotton, and it's it's sort of grown in in longer strands, and that means that it is it's it's stronger, um, but it also has a kind of a, a, a better absorbency, I guess, um, or that's what they say at least. Um, no, I can't find the information that I'm looking for. But trust me, it's not grown just in America. Um, generally in very hot places, mine, but not just in America. Allegedly, it's very good on heat. Now, I'm now looking. I did a quick Google, and it's available at pvapor.co.uk, p-vapor.co.uk. I will put all of these um, links down below from a bit of Google Foo fun. Um, but, yeah, supposed to be quite quite splendid with, uh, with, with heat. Um... What else? What else? What else? Purification, but the VCC pat pending purification process. Um, Supima cotton then removes the wax, proteins, and plant material commonly found in the cotton, which gives the uh, vape, which gives, which is also what gives vapors the bad taste, and transforms Supima to the most absorbent and highest heat resistant and purest tasting cotton. This is not another repack. VCC does not purchase in bulk and repackage it in small bags. Although Supima cotton is known as the world's finest cotton, it is unsafe for vaping in its raw form. So if you find a shop at your local Marks and Spencers or Walmart or Asda or wherever um, made of Supima cotton, don't take it home and tear it apart and try and vape it. That's that's not a good thing by all accounts. Anyway, so 
Right, I'm going to put a little bit more on. That seems to have absorbed a fair whack of the uh, of the old Lushington. I'm going to wang a bit more on there. And we'll get to having a little vape. I've got it on the SX350. The one that I made. So I'm not going to show you the screen. So you're going to have to trust me on the wattages because the screen is terrible. I still haven't fixed it. <laughs> so lazy i'm not i'm busy but you know right so i'm going with the uh the main airflow directly on the coils fully open nothing indirect um and we are at 60 watts oh, look, i just showed you that it's horrific don't judge me don't judge me Now, that's not bad. The initial couple of draws kind of gave me a, um, fuck me, this is why I don't do, oh, hello. This is why I don't do juice testing. Um, kind of a, <clears throat> it might be in my throat. Let me just have another little toot. Now I, had, I got sort of like a like a, a, a spike feet, not spike, um, like a very intense feeling on the back of my throat on the initial two draw two drags, two pulls. But now it seems to have instantly sorted itself out. Yeah, that is giving me, I, I am getting a little bit on the back of my throat <coughs> on that one. But uh, it's not terrible. Right, let's turn that, let's have a look and see what the wick is like. We've still got juice on there. It's, it remains very tidy. It doesn't, um, it doesn't kind of fluff out and go all, all silly, which is, which is pleasant. Right, let's wang up a little bit more on the old wattage. Oh uh, God, I forgot I was using the SX. Right, menu. Go on, you monkey. Have it, have it. All right, we're at 60 watts at the minute, so we'll go up to 80 watts, and we'll just give it a blast on that. It's heat resistant. <laughs> I'm sure it's not prop like fully heat resistant, but let's see how it uh, how it copes. Right, we're on 80 watts. Exit. 80 watts is that gonna is that gonna focus anyone anywhere anywhere it's 80 watts trust me it's 80 watts i'm also on the powerful setting on the sx as well now that one i started getting a little bit of dryness to that That's starting to go dry and you can see that around the either side of the coils you're seeing a little bit more hairiness if you like let me see if I can uh, show you this uh, I'm trying to do 19 things at the same time and right can you see we're going a little bit hairy you can see at the base there it's still quite damp but at the top there it's a uh, it's vaped, it's wicked all the way through. Now I'm going to have another little quick toot at risk of having a nasty dry hit and we'll see what happens. No, that's, that's gone. Dry hit's gone. Just a very slight hint on top of the vape again. Oh my word. That just, that... That halfway through that pull, it just ran out of juice. Like juice juice, not juice as in power juice, but fuck me, it's vapey. But juice juice. And I'm gonna put the fan on. Hopefully you don't hear this too much. Um, but it stopped. I didn't get a, like a proper nasty, unpleasant dry hit. Once again, I'm just getting a little bit on the top there. Okay, that's got a little bit more juice going through, or a little bit more of a dryness going on there. Right, I'm going to give it a second, and one more. Still 
still going. On the long pull, it's obviously it's not drawing it all the way in, but on shorter pulls, it seems to be keeping up pretty damn well. Let me have a little look here. It looks dry. It looks dry. And you can see, do you see that there was less vapour then? Less vapour. And sure enough, right, let's try and do this uh, focus business again. You can see that that is pretty damn dry. Now then, what have I just done with my, uh, there they are. Let me just try and pull a little bit of this cotton, see if it's burned. Ah, you see. Yes, yes it's burned. Oops. But, right, I've just pulled that out of there. Now, we can see that it's burnt and it's singed around the outside, but not, it's not burnt burnt, if you know what I mean, if that makes sense. So, I mean, I was getting the, the, the feeling of a dry hit um, before it was, I could really sort of taste it. Now, if I just kind of give that a little bit of a move amongst my fingers, just to have a little feel of it, that wick is dry as a dry thing, but it's it's not horrifically, horrifically burnt. Bearing in mind that 80 watts was going through there, and I was getting less vapour production and no monster, monster dry hits. Well, I've got to say, based on that very, very basic, that I mean, that, even the ends are dry. Um, based on that very basic test, that has performed, in my eyes, really fucking well. I am very, very surprised. Right, now on that note, what I've got to do... Oh, let me have a look at little look here. P Vapor, how much are they charging for it? Eight pounds. Eight pounds, eight English quid. And you get... Oh, there's an ice cream van outside. Sorry if you can hear that. Loud bastards. And it's going. Um... Uh, sitting down the street. Um, with this, you're getting 18 inches of this Supima cotton. Supima, Supima, whatever it is. Um, but it looks as though, with the stuff from um, from P Vapor at least, doesn't actually say what length it it, uh, it comes as. Who am I, But whatever it is, it's eight quid. So there you go. That's that one. I might have to purchase some of that. Right, I'll be back after I've cleared some of this, and we will go with the uh, la, 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 the shadows next. I think I'll be back in a minute. All right, then, ladies and gentlemen. So we're back. This time I am using the shadows cotton with the little shiny thing there that I can't get a proper read on the camera with. Um, I got. I'm, I think I got this at Vape Fest, and I think I had got it from iFancyOne.com. I seem to remember going to their store because they had, I think I got the possibly the cotton bacon and, and something else from those guys as well. Um, yeah, so I got that from this. Now, they are selling these packs for £5 a pack, uh, where there are five sheets, I think they say in there. Let me have a look. Five sheets, most people split sheets to make ten. Now, one of the things that with, with these ones that I think you should probably be aware of is that with these sheets, they when you, uh, when you peel them out... They are awfully, awfully thin. So it's not really coming across on camera very well. But they're thin. So um, when you look at these in comparison to, say, a, a sheet of Muji, um, they are thinner than that for sure. However, um, to go into a 3mm inner diameter coil, I still cut out uh, not far off, maybe just a hint more than I would do normally. And, um, you know, they've managed to fill up the uh, the coils quite nicely. Now, as I said, I've done exactly the same as I did before, um, which is just put the uh, the fresh stuff in there. Where are we going? Fuckers. Fresh stuff in there, same coils. So what we're going to do is I poke these bad boys in, in and under. Ooh, in, in you go. 
I know there is quite a lot of wick on the outside of them and I'm doing that purely because I've got these coils reasonably high in the velocity so uh, there's plenty of plenty of space with the juice well and all that and they're hitting the bottom which is which is what I wanted da 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 go on fold under your monkey fold it fold it right plenty of space underneath the coils once again a Lushington and we'll pop that all over there seems to be going on as you would expect very similar to how uh, how it kind of soaks into Muji. If not, maybe it's uh, it's going in, possibly a hint quicker. Maybe it's not sitting in big globules on top of the uh, on top of the cotton. Right. I know this isn't the most exciting thing for you, but I wanted you to see that I was doing things, kind of. As I'm saying, I'm doing them rather than just trying to cut corners. Right, we are juiced. Juiced. So, I've put the old SX back down to 60 watts, as I did at the start for the uh, for the VCC stuff. Uh, where's my little novel? I think the new velocities have got two novels instead of just the one. I think I need one. Right, so 60 watts. There we go, that's kind of shown there. Full airflow open on the main one once again and not on the indirect airflow. And let's see how we how we fare. Now this one I'm not getting that kind of that initial harsh harshness <laughs> harshness on the back of my throat that I got with the VCC to start with. Whilst it did calm down, this is not giving me that straight in, straight out the back. And taste is pretty clean. Taste is pretty damn clean. Right, let's uh, wind this up to 80 as I did with the other one. And we'll see how she wicks at the higher wattage. They need to do an upgrade on these SX chips to make them whiz through things a little bit more. Or I could probably set the uh, set the M1, M2, M3 bollocks. Really? Oh, I just hit you know. Right. So is that going to show? Hey, why is 80 watts angrier than fucking 60 watts? It's not. It's at 80 watts, anyway. So, still on the powerful setting. Let's have a little doot. Good flavour. Straight off the bat, that is working out really, really nicely, I think. This is only three milligram on the old stash, but I think I'm probably going to get a monster nick attack later on. <laughs> Just started to get a little bit of dryness on the top end of that then. Yeah, that's still got a little bit of a dry hit. We'll just give it just a second um, to uh, to do any more. Uh, see if it wants to wick any more. We've got, yeah, I mean, it's 100% organic cotton designed for wick, five sheets. I haven't really got a great deal of information on the uh, on the Shadow Cotton, at least from the ifancyone.com website anyway. But let's have another little toot. Yeah, it's keeping up. Oh, you may have seen little flame then. That got dry very, very quickly. And that went up. So, let's have a little toot there. Not, not a little toot, a little look. Let's get that in focus. You can see that that wick is pretty, pretty dry. At the bottom, it still looks as though there's a chunk down there. So it's not really pulled that through. 
not as quickly as the uh, as the VCC stuff appeared to. But now let's have a little look at the Bernie Bernie business, shall we? So once again, what we've got is we've got evidence of the burn, and it did flame a wee bit. Just trying to get this in focus for you, but. Yes, there's there's a lot more juice on the uh, on the ends of that, on the old fingertips, but once again, it's kind of it did give me the indication that it was going to go, um, and it's not absolutely destroyed. You can see that there's some singeing, uh, the black aspects are a bit of singeing going on there, um, and the uh, the brown obviously is a little more kind of obvious. Let's have another look at the other wick. The other wick is soaking still. I don't know if you can see that, but very shiny fingers from uh, from that. But once again, similar sort of thing applies. We've got uh, we've got areas that aren't, and areas that are quite quite uh, quite singed. Okay, so interesting stuff. At least I find it interesting because I'm possibly taking this a bit too seriously. But uh, but yeah, so so far a better taste straight off the bat. However, um, not quite as quick at the wicking, and um, it did go up in flames at that 80 watts fairly, uh, fairly quickly as well. I mean, I'm, I am using nichrome, so it is going to. Uh, um, oh, there's a little bit there. There's a bit that's fallen off. Um, that's that's a little bit burny, burny as well. Um, yeah. So yes, for higher temperatures, if you if you if you pay attention to what you're doing and don't try and try and just wick through things like, or vape through things like I'm doing on this test then um, you know it is it's good straight off the bat it's not bad it gives you an indication that it's going to go and then wallop so what else have we got do we need to do we need to do Muji yeah fuck it just for completeness because the reason I'm doing these three by the way is because in the sort of soaking test the uh, the 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 one that really impressed me was the Vapor's Choice, the VCC stuff. The Shadow came through pretty strong as well, and obviously we've got Muji. So what I'm going to do, because it showed that there wasn't really any difference between the um, the the, uh, the the keeping the sides on it and, and peeling them off, I'm just going to wrap a couple of coils up quickly. I'm going to dry burn this, wrap a couple of coils up, and um, wang them in, and we'll do the same. Yet again. Here they go. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. This is the last one. If you've stuck with it this long, you're a hero. Um, <clears throat> what we've got is just Muji. I just got the uh, the the big old pack of the stuff, as I think I showed a little while ago. Um, same thing again. I've just stuck in my normal kind of amount of wick. Um, it does. It is fluffier than uh, than the other two that we've we've talked about today. But uh, but there you go. It's one of them things, I suppose. Um, now, like a lot of you, I use Muji for sort of most of my everyday everyday vaping. Um, although I have been using the Kendo, which I'll come to in a, a in a little while. Um, go on, in you go, you bugger. In you go. Right, plenty of space around the coils. Get it on there. It's not too tightly packed. Lushington once again and on you go you little monkey right we're pooling that up yeah I would say that the shadow actually kind of absorbs straight off the bat maybe even a little bit quicker than, than Muji to be honest I am surprised um, with the results of today I'll do a sort of like a conclusion bit in a minute, but um, yeah. All right, we're nearly there. Okie dokie. Right, let that one have a good old juice up. Um, if you go to Muji.eu, the actual Muji shop. Um, you can get the unbleached cotton pads in a pack of 140, which I think are this size, the size I've got, which is the 60 by 50. 
Um, but there's there's a few different types on there. I'm not entirely sure, but that that looks like the pack that I've got. Um, I would tell you, but the the one that I've got is all written in Chinese. So, you know, my uh, my my uh, Mandarin or Chinese or, or or whatever it is is not really that clever to be honest. So um, yeah, anyway, uh, 140 sheets, one pound ninety five, one pounds and ninety five pence, and a pack this size. If these are the same same uh, size of the 60 by, by uh, what did I say 60 by 50, then that's just that's ridiculous, because that um, that has lasted me a long bloody time, and I get through a lot. Um, but there you go. So right, we look like we're all wicked up on here. So pop this bad boy on. I really, really need one without the little widgets. Right, we need to go to 60 watts once again. Obviously, I didn't set it because that's the kind of guy I am. And let's pull straight into it, shall we? And once again, that is, that's your normal Muji hit. I don't get any kind of funky taste or anything else like that from Muji. Nothing, nothing untoward going on there whatsoever. Um, I still think the Chado beats it slightly on the old uh, straight off the bat. There is just that very slight hint of a kind of a of a breaking kind of vibe, unless it's where I've burnt my uh, throat on that last one. But uh, um, yeah, it doesn't seem to have any kind of or too much of a breaking period. I mean, I'm, like I say, I, I use this all the time anyway uh, because I'm cheap. But um, 80 watts, exit on, on powerful still. Let's crack on, shall we? Let's have a little sip first. <clears throat> I think I should be sponsored by Diet Coke. Here we go. Oh, on there. Oh, my batteries are dying. You see, look, professional to the last. Right. Luckily, some Samsungs are all ready to go. Right, we're in. We are in, ladies and gentlemen. Yee hee. SX350. Apologies for this. Should have already paid attention. Right, we're on. The YH logo. I wonder if they're going to do an update so you can mess around with your logos like you can with the, uh, the DNA40. That'd be cool. Right. 60 watts there. Ah, you cock. Got to go up to 80 watts again. Slow. Slow. They need to speed this up. They really do. 70. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. And 80 watts. Right, 80 watts on powerful again. Let's crack on. Still going. Did that have just a little spike on that? Oh, kind of a bit lightheaded. So we go. No, no spiking. Going strong. Going strong. Still nothing. Let's have a little look here. Let's just have a little cheeky pick. Ah, now then we can see that that is starting to go, starting to go fluffy. You see that there? So I imagine we're going dryness any second now. Don't try this at home, kids. It's not big or clever. Oh, I've lost my little side thingies. Where's the widget gone? In the unlikely event that Mr. Dino or Mr. Cisco are watching this. <laughs> I need another one. <laughs> now, here we go. Mm. 
No. We're having none of it. We are having none of it. Let me just check to make sure my 510 is poking through properly. Just make sure I've got a proper connection. Oh, we're on. We're on. We're on. I disturbed it when I changed the batteries. Still going. Starting to get a little taste. Definitely starting to get that little uh, little hint of it there. Yeah, and that's 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 going. Uh -uh. One more. Yeah, that's that's bad now. <laughs> dry hit, dry hit. But you can see that we are dry on the cotton, and that seems to have done pretty well down below as well. Who were so? Let's take it out, and we'll have a little look and see how we've wicked. Oh dear! Oh. Now then, that's still smoking. Okay. Right. Let's see if I how I can show you this. Right. So we're looking a lot, sort of more worthwhile there, but it, it is it is certainly. Uh, certainly burnt and it pulled apart when i uh when i um took it out so uh yeah so there we go that is the uh that's the muji now then get rid of those pop you back in focus and let's have a little chat shall we so what what have we done We've had the uh, the sucky uppy test, and I think we've looked and see that the the Muji, the VCC, and the Chado were the excuse me in my eyes the the better performers there. Um, the VCC I've just made three little bullet points on each. The VCC is a little bit harsher at first. It does have a little bit of a kind of a a, a, a different. I want to say glassy, not because it's spiky and like you're breathing shattered glass or anything like that, but. Um, but kind of just a it's not really metallic but it's just that feeling in the back of your throat but it does break in um once that happens it wicks really 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 well um and it was pretty damn good at the at the heat resistant aspect as well um i think that the vcc stuff works particularly well if you're working at high wattage you're going for your clouds and you're you're, you're dripping along those sort of lines i think that that works that works exceptionally well um, the Chado, I think the Chado is uh, is very, very smooth straight from the outset. There's no kind of breaking in that I felt it needed there. Um, it's the average, the, the wicking is average to good. Um, I think we've, we've, we've shown that uh, it, it wasn't, it wasn't half bad at all. Um, and it was average on the heat resistance. But the key thing for that one for me was the fact that it, um, it just did a, a, a cracking little job when it came to the uh, just if you're a low wattage vapor if you're going to put something in a, in something for a, a flavor uh, a flavor chase in rda then I, I think the chado works extremely extremely well um and then we had the muji now the muji is kind of it's not a it's not a best of both worlds it doesn't do one thing or the other spectacularly well but what it does do is it works pretty damn well um it's um it's cheap and it, it's pretty clean from the outset in my eyes at least um so yeah i mean for high wattage stuff as we saw it did give me an indication as did the others that it was going to go a little bit pear-shaped um and and you know that's when i when i carried on vaping through it. i just want to have a look at this this other one as well but um it wicked really, really well, and it, it kind of wicked through from the bottom. So, you know, it just it yeah this this one's this one's burnt not quite as badly as the other, but it is burnt. Um, it wicks well now. Is it worth spending the extra money on um, some of the the whizzy cotton, the VCC stuff, the Chado stuff, and all that sort of stuff? To be honest. <clears throat> I think if I was going, in, I'm going to use the VCC a little bit more in some of my cloudier high temp builds. I'm pretty confident I'm going to do that due to just the the the, the absolute indication that it, the the strong indication it gave me that it was dry. 
um, or it was going dry and then it still performed a, a little bit well so for me from a cloud point of view or from a if, if I was going to go and do a cloud comp I would I would use that VCC um, for a flavor build for a flavor build that is going to that uh, you know for your for your gentlemanly vapes for your vape that you're gonna you're gonna uh, kind of be be a slightly lower wattage but you're just going to be pushing for that flavor from the outset um, then I, I would go for the shadow but for every day and I'm going to continue to use the majority of the stuff that I do will be with Muji just because as I say it's cheap you know at, at the kind of if you're looking at a fiver or less I mean that stuff that I mentioned was 195 but you can get the bigger pads and and it's I think it's all pretty much under a fiver or thereabouts which is it's cheap as piss it really is so if you go through a lot of wick then um, the uh, the Muji seems to be working really bloody well um, I do want to give a special mention to the uh, the the this kendo stuff purely because whilst it hasn't come through well in the tests um, and it hasn't come through it's still <laughs> still not wicked in my dish of wick stuff um, I've got that sitting under my guitar at the minute you can see that there so I'm just going to go and have a little look and see what that's like tomorrow or something but um yeah it's it's that for me has been a, a really pleasant um, nice nice um, um, vape but we're not here to discuss what's just a nice vape I know this has not been a very kind of super sciencey, very clever kind of um, way of, of separating different types of cotton. I'm fully aware of that. Um, however, it is a way that I find, or gave, gives me an indication, which is the reason I did it to start with, it gave me an indication of, of the type of wicks I'm going to use for which type of builds and for which type of um, uh, RDAs and so on. Um, I think when it comes to wicking things like tanks, I'm still going to be using um, Muji, possibly. I may give, uh, if, if I'm going to be doing something, maybe on like the Goblin Mini or something with a little bit of a tighter draw, I might stick some shadow in it. Um, and if I do get a rebuildable base for the CCI tank, which I'm yet to review, um, I'll, probably get the, uh, I'll probably get the VCC stuff for that. But generally, me personally... I'm probably going to stick a lot of the time with the uh, with the cotton, with the Muji. But like I say, the other two have been strong performers. And I don't think, when you look at the results of how things are wicking and still wicking behind me, they're all doing a very similar job. That does not mean that they would all perform exactly the same way under heat. But as you can imagine, this video has been long enough as it is. So if I was to do the vape test on every single one, it would be a pig in nightmare. And I'll be here this time next week. So that's my findings for today be that what it may and take from it what you will but uh for me personally i found it pretty interesting and you know there you go there you go ladies and gentlemen so uh yeah thank you very much for watching i've just taken the wick out what am i going to vape now to say goodbye <laughs> oh, i don't know i don't know let's have a little two on my uh on my squonker with the uh my M vape squonker with my uh, home modified tugboat. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you found this useful, please let me know below. Um, if you've got any different findings yourselves, by all means, let me know that as well. But thank you very much for watching. I am now going to go and vape on some Zero Nick for a little bit. You make sure you all have it large. What was that? Have it large! That's more like it. Thank you.